Hey everybody, I'm Lizzie Miller and welcome to Rebel Bites, a site that is dedicated to deconstructing the myths around beauty. We all have dealt with it and personally, I want to get down to the bottom of it by talking to people that I know, people in the industry, and just find out what people are really thinking because enough is enough. I know I'm ready to hear some truth, so let's find out. I'm here today with the lovely Denise Bedeau. We're here to talk about some really cool issues. I brought her here today just because I've known her for a few years. She's, you were there for me in a time when I really needed it, and I've never forgotten about that. And, and I don't even know if she remembers it, but I she's remember. a sweet girl. She's down to earth. Um, she's a banging single mother, and it's just, I would like to know your perspective on a lot of things. So <laughs> let's, cool. let's see what Denise has to let's say. Let's bring it on. <laughs> Well, I think it's, we're in a scary generation where I think beauty has been just completely oversaturized. And I think people in our generation growing up just really don't know where to look for to find beauty or to find answers on how to feel beautiful. Being a single mom, it's kind of scary. I have no idea what my daughter's gonna be watching in 10 years. And I know what I watched growing up and it wasn't until the Jennifer Lopez and the Beyonce's came out that I even felt beautiful in my skin or felt like I could relate to anyone. We're at a right place. Being in plus size fashion is really cool because you get to inspire different movements. Um, I want my daughter to feel beautiful all the time and I just, I wish people understood that beauty really does come from the inside. It's not something physical you can bring on. You feel beautiful, you look beautiful. It's simple. I'm a human. I am. You are? Oh my God, I am not Alert a Alert the media. No. <laughs> I used to take acting classes when I was really young and I remember my acting teacher, I was really particular about this one, one thing that he wanted us to always do and he always said, when you walk into an audition, give them all you got, make everyone a fan, but when you leave there, no matter how bad you want it, always yell out next. And so I literally yell next every time I walk out of every casting. And it sounds silly, like but it's Like on to the next one? Yeah, like I like walk out, I don't care right. how huge it is, and I'm like dying inside right before I walk in, and I leave and I'm like, next, because it's not about you. You cannot be perfect for everything. I mean, there's True. gonna be reasons why people are gonna tell you no, you can be too short, you can be too big, you can be too small, Always you can be something. too ethnic. I mean, there's gazillion reasons why you might not be perfect for something, and 90% of the time, it's really not personal. So, just gotta brush, brush it off. But it's funny, because I posted something on Instagram the other day, and it was about optimism, and it said that you can look at every step back after a step forward as more of a cha-cha than a setback. I've been told no lots of times. I mean, this industry is tough. You have to have thick skin, and you really have to believe in the ultimate goal in order to make it worth it. Most of my biggest clients have told me no in the beginning. And I just took that as more ammunition to just do better. Like every time someone tells me no, I just give me a little more oomph to want to prove them wrong. And so, yeah, I think the no's are really essential because you don't really appreciate the yeses until you've had a lot of no's. And you gotta work hard. This is the industry where there's 10, 12 hour flights for an eight hour shoot and then coming back home and it can be really restless. And if you let everything that's exterior just really get you down, you're gonna miss out on the beauty of it. You need to be around other people like this because you can easily just get lost in your yeah. own head. And so, that's why I love girls like Denise yeah. because oh, you know, you help keep it in perspective. You gotta just live your own life and create your own path and then stuff happens and you enjoy it. I'm having fun. Cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. Can we do a little cha-cha? Can we do a little? A little example of the cha-cha, no. <laughs> we all have our own insecurities, yeah. and it'd be a lie to tell you that I'm just confident 100% of the time. It's just, just not the case. I, I think what's really beautiful about my story, at least, is that I have a daughter, so it really just lets you be selfless. I mean, there's never a dull moment, I put it that way. When my job is over modeling, my job is just starting mommy-ish. So I guess I guess it's the full-time on top of the full-time, but I think it's really important to know that you're doing it for, for a bigger reason, to have your priorities straight, because I think kids get it. They understand what we're doing and what we're fighting for. She's the most amazing kid in the world as well. And so I've been coming home lately after my shoots, and it doesn't matter how bummed out I am or what kind of day I had, she just, you know, she's, She's like a little spark of joy. And so I come home and she's like, mommy, you're beautiful. And mommy, you're the best. And it's gotten to the point recently where I'll be wearing makeup. Mommy, you don't need makeup. You're beautiful just the way you are. And so it's hard to <laughs> so think otherwise. I mean. And she showers you in hugs and kisses, right? Yeah. Well, she's actually, she's actually yeah. here today. 
Well, guys, that's it for today with the lovely Denise and her beautiful daughter as well. I think, I know I personally learned a little few, few tips that I could use for myself about just feeling beautiful and feeling comfortable in your skin, especially that whole failure thing she was talking about and dealing with that. I love that. But on to the next one. That's why I just keep that Jay-Z song in my head. Um, thank you so much for being so open and thank honest you. and bringing your daughter on set. She's so shy, this one. Yeah. I had a blast. I really did. Me too. Thank you for having of me. Of course. And Jocelyn. Of course. Look at her checking out her nails. What a good thing. Can we say bye? Let's do kisses. All right. Bye. Let's do kisses. Bye.